To balance this equation, MGH2 plus H2O, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one magnesium and then two hydrogens. And then we have two more right here. So we have to count all the hydrogens. That gives us a total of four hydrogen atoms and then the one oxygen atom. On the product side, we have the one Mg. And then for the hydrogens, we have the two here plus this two. This applies to everything in the parentheses. So we have the one hydrogen times the two. So we have two more. That gives us four hydrogens. And then the oxygen, two times the one oxygen, that gives us two oxygen atoms. So everything is balanced except the oxygen atoms. Why don't we put a two in front of the H2O? And this two will apply to everything. So we have one times two. That'll give us two oxygens. Those are balanced. And then we need to update the hydrogens. So we have our two hydrogens here, plus two times two is four. That gives us six. So now we've got to do something on this side. If we put a two in front of the H2, that'd be two times two, that'd be four, plus the two times the one, two here. So four plus two, that's six. So let's do that. Let's update our hydrogens. We put our coefficient of two here, two times two, that gives us four, plus two times the one hydrogen, that gives us two, and that adds up to six. Now everything's the same on both sides of the equation, and we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for MgH2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.